Okay. So, how you guys doing? You guys good? Uh, I have to get ready for this last this last part. <laughs> Cuz now I'm about to do something that I don't normally do. I'm about to do something that I don't normally do. You can see the smile and stuff on my face because some of you guys have asked for this. And I, I can only get just the part that I got and stuff to put it out and stuff now. So without further ado, we are going to talk about what I use to open up the dance floor. What What's my music for my opening sets for most, I'd probably say about 70 to 80% of my weddings. And if you need this list, you can always go back to this video and pause it, or you can take the edit that I put together and pause it and all that stuff. But here we go. Uh, all right. Here we go, guys. So this right here is my opening. This is this is this is my opening set here. Now, this is not all of it. I've got two pages and stuff to it, but I just took a picture and stuff of it. These are all songs. They're not in any particular order. Um, they are um, organized by BPM at the moment. Um, but these are all what I you normally use for most of my weddings. I usually take these versions of the songs and utilize them. So when you see my videos and all that stuff, those gig logs, they're coming from usually this to start off with. And then there's an even, you know, larger list after that, that I pick from, but I wanted to give you guys a chance to take a look at some of the stuff that I use because you and I both know that, you have to use great music to set the tone for the night. And people have to know that, that this night is going to be different than anything that they've seen before. And it's usually based off of this folder. This folder may be more important than what you play later in the evening, because you've got to initially win people over with your opening dance set, <clears throat> excuse me, your opening dance set. And I wanted to make sure that I used a lot of different stuff for these these clients. Okay. Um, I don't give everybody the same music. I don't start every gig the same exact way. But generally, it comes from this folder. Now, that's fo that's that's part one right there. Also got a second part. And again, you can go back later and pause it. I, I know this is what you guys have been asking for. So here we go. So this is part two. These are all versions. Now, all those um, record pools and stuff that I have been preaching to you guys and stuff. That's where I get all this stuff from. I even went on, I even signed up for like DJ city recently just to see if they had some, some different stuff than when I had before. And they had a few things. So I did pluck a few things from them, but I think I'm only going to keep them for a month. They just, they're just not my cup of tea. Um, I had club killers at once. Uh, they were not really my cup of tea. So those ones that I talk about at the end of my videos are usually where I get most of these from. I mean, there'll be a few here and there that I'll find for some special places, but this is what I call the set the tone folder. This sets the tone for the night. This is where I win over my clients. If I can get mom and dad and uncle George and, and, and cousin Lou and all that stuff out on the dance floor, if I can get bride and bridesmaids out on the dance floor, this usually doesn't happen for groomsmen. I don't usually get, groomsmen with this until i start getting to like house of pain and stuff like that but this is what wins them over and this is what lets them know that they can trust me because up until this point <laughs> they really don't have anything to trust me off of because i mean i'm just playing background music but once we start to dancing like this is where i know i win 
So it is very important for you guys to have folders and stuff like this that you have created. I wouldn't necessarily call it like a, a must play folder. I would just say anytime you find a song that you know has a, let me give you an example. So on this list and I'm, I'm looking at my laptop. So to you guys, it looks like I'm looking over, but on this list, there is, um, I have to go back. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. So the third song down from the top is Boogie Shoes. Okay. Now Boogie Shoes has been played and been played and been played to death. However, this version of Boogie Shoes allows you to come in a different way. And because it's a, a double redrum, the way that it comes in, you can almost utilize it with a multitude of songs. I have used that Boogie Shoes at the top right there, three of them down. Um, I've used it on How Will I Know. I've used it at the end of uh, Ain't No Mountain High. I've used it at the end of I Want to Dance with Somebody. I mean, I have used that in a multitude of ways. But, but it's because of the way that it comes in. So, like I said, you want to get something that that is just. You want to get something that is just going to really set the tone and really put some some effort into it and try some stuff, you know, try some stuff like I tried rock with you. Uh, for, <laughs> I just got to tell this story because. Man, you just never think. Yeah, like I have been playing rock with you in dinner music for the longest and I was like, I wonder because I have a I have a a great way and let me just this goes along with the story. I um I was playing around with it one day and I was playing rock with you and there's a point on it uh, when Michael Jackson goes and we can ride the boogie and then I just roll that part where he just keeps saying ride the boogie ride the boogie ride the boogie and I would bring in that version of boogie shoes and stuff and it would literally come in at the same time and then when I let it go it's like uh, I wanna get you know my 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 you know like that like it just it, it, it just it worked well but enough people did not dance to rock with you so <laughs> I have to use that sparingly. I have to really pick and choose my clients to use that for because rock with you kind of has that mellow tone and stuff to it, but it doesn't do well when I'm trying to mix into something else. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man. But anyway, I, I, you know, it is what it is, but that's fantastic. So 